So hi there. Today I was thinking that I could show you how to use Git in uh, explanatory terms. Um, because Git is used mostly in uh, development and it seems, but you might get into them randomly on the internet where you are supposed to use git clone to get something off a github for example or a project and you kind of just copy that into your terminal and you don't really know nothing about it or you might even read some tutorial on a git but it was still too complicated because there is so much stuff to do and this uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to get around git in a terminal, we are not going to use any any GUI application for Git like Source Tree or uh, Git Kraken or anything like that. Uh, we're just going to use native Git. Now I'm on Arch, and if I just type Git, it will prompt me with this very simple uh, help uh, help screen, and I'm using not that it matters because we are going to use just the core stuff of Git. But my current version from upstream is 2.21 and I'm going to demonstrate uh, the natural workflow that you might get into not not necessarily by the book but just how I use it or how we use it at a company or how you can use it for your own project and then this uh, it might, I might split it into two videos and this one will be the basic stuff the local stuff and the second one might be uh, collab collaborating with other people on the server doing the server stuff, the origin ones. So I'm in the, the I'm in the home directory and we are going to make a new folder just for the testing purposes and it will be a website, right? So make a website and we are going to say git yeah, let me just show you, it's an empty folder, we just created it and we are going to say get add, get initiate. So, so it says initialized, initialized empty git repository in a home uh, website dot git. So, if you list it with the hidden files, you see that the dot git folder is here, and it's there to store all the versions of your uh, code, all the comments, all the branches and all the stuff we are going to talk about. So this is one folder that takes care of the stuff you are doing with your code and it's hidden with the leading dot. And we are also going to say git config user.email because git will uh, rec recognize us by the email and name and because its uh, initial purpose or its purpose really is uh, git versioning for teams the file versioning for teams so email and name is a very common denominator to identify people with so i'm going to say uh, my email here and also configure my uh, name which is coincidentally the same thing and now we are ready to start using vim uh, git i'm sorry <laughs> so if i say um git branch sorry it says nothing because we have we haven't done anything yet with the git we we are just uh, in an empty folder we have initialized the git here to watch for changes here and we can now start doing the project we can uh, copy files here or start making files uh, from scratch so yeah i'm clean the terminal and i'm going to make a uh, I don't know, index.html file. I'm using touch and not to confuse people that, that you can create um, documents with Vim directly. So let's have, uh, I don't know, it will be the title, new website concept, right? This will be just a kickoff of my project that I've been thinking about. So I now have in the website folder, the index index.html uh, it has 35 kilobytes and now I want to get to save the state of the folder okay so I'm going to say git status and we are going to use git status a lot because git status will give us a feedback 
of what Git is currently thinking you are doing. So Git status says, you are on a branch master. There were no commits yet. There are some untracked files and nothing has been added to commit, but there are some untracked files. Now, what this all jargon means? On branch master, uh, by default, when you're using Git uh, and using it for the first time, or at any point, doesn't really matter, there is always a master branch. Now, branches are like... Uh, yeah, you can think of it as a literal branch. You have a tree, and a master branch is the, the main one, the strongest one, that all the other branches uh, grow from. All right. And the master branch is the one that takes the lead. Uh, it's the most important one, and let's say if you, are, if you work in a software company, and you are building a code, there's prob probably a, like a team leader or, or manager for the code, who is responsible for the quality and he always uh, takes care of the master branch. So you have all the code base in the master branch and the team leader assigns you a task to, let's say, change the size of some headings on this website. So what you do is that you take the master branch, create a new branch just for this problem, for this task, and you call the branch, I don't know, fixing the font sizes. You do your work on this branch. Now the branch contains everything from the master plus your new stuff. And then you then you make a request for your team leader to connect your changes in this side branch to the master one. And this is this process is called merging. And the the authority that's been given the leadership of the project. Uh, will go through the code and if there is something wrong he will reject the request of merging his side branch into the master one or he will accept it and if he accepts that the new stuff that were on top of the the master branch where he started from will be added into the master branch so now the master branch will from this point in time will contain the new font sizes and anyone starting their own new project from this time in a history, they will also have this <clears throat> new changes. It will be there from now on. So merging just means connecting uh, side branches in back into the main one. So it says we are, yeah, and when you initialize a new, new uh, project, there's always a master branch as the only and main branch. So commits are pushes or like, um, no, commits are the changes you make in bulk into your branch. So let's say, yeah, let's say that you've been given a task to make all the images on the website you are working on uh, smaller in size. Yeah, because you've discovered some new tool for file compression and so you've been playing with it and you, you want to make the images smaller. So you create a new branch just for this process. You will call it image new image compression. And then you will uh, work on your task. And you will do like the first, uh, you will make the changes. And you will, uh, you will want to save the changes into the branch. And mostly you it's also healthier not just better but uh, healthier and safer to save the changes often not wait till the till the the code is perfect uh, it's really better to save the state you are currently at let's say at the end of the workday if let's say if the projects or the task spans across three days you the best practice is to save it at the end of the workday. So the next morning, your changes are saved into your local branch. And these changes onto the branch are called commits. Okay. And it will be better explained here in the, <clears throat> in the example. So untracked files. 
This is a file, index.html, we've created just before here, and Git doesn't know about it yet, okay? Because Git checks the folder, and we didn't tell Git yet to recognize the file. So we can say git add, and the name of the file, or we can just say dot, which means all the new untracked files that Git haven't seen yet. And it will add them into, into the stage. Now, stage is like a, like a depot where you can revise uh, the, the changes before you save them onto the branch. So git add, enter. And if I now say git status again, it says, again, we are on the branch master. No commits yet because we haven't saved the work yet. Save in a, in a sense of git, right? Because the physical file is still here in the folder. It still has the, the size of 35 kilobytes, but we haven't saved it into git yet. We've now put it into the stage. And you see it's green and it says new file because we've used git add to add all the new changes onto the stage. And once we are happy with this stage, it's all green and we now see that it has all the stuff we want there. We can now commit them, meaning saving them to the branch. So we can say commit and we use parameter m, which means message and uh, into the quotation marks will specify what the changes were. And this is very good, uh, not only for you, for your future self, but also for your team. Because if you are working on a very complex project and there are three other people maintaining it, they need to know what you have been doing on your side quickly from the message. Because it's much faster to, uh, to read someone else's commit message that says, uh, I don't know, Changing the colors, uh, I don't know, tone. They will know that you've been doing something with the colors in your code and they might be quite sure that you haven't changed, I don't know, font sizes or sizes or spacing. So we'll say initial kick off of the website, right? Because we've just, uh, you know, created an index file. I press enter and now it says one file changed one insertion because we added a new file and this is just an identification number for git so if we now say git status it says on branch master nothing to commit working tree clean working tree clean means uh, that git status hasn't uh, hasn't found any untracked files, any changes in the folder. So even though the nothing happened with the physical file, it something happened in the Git folder because Git logs, Git, we've set to Git to lock the file to make a, make a record of it. So if I say Git branch, it will, it will give us the a list of all the local branches we have here and which one are we currently working on. And since this was firstly initialized project, it shows us only the master branch because uh, this is the only one, as I told you, that is in every project, the, the main one, the core one that everything is uh, involved around. And let's say I made this like a, this index file and now I want to start uh, styling it. Obviously, this is just a title, so there is not much to, to style there. But let's say I want to work on a project. What is the best practice here is to, start to make a new site branch just for the changes. And once I'm ready with it, I can merge it into the master branch. You know? So make like, if I say git branch, um, styling, it will create a new branch out of a current state of master, right? Everything that's in master right now, after all the git changes, all the git configs, 
Everything from master will be copied into a new branch called styling, where we will work uh, on our uh, CSS. So I press uh, enter, and if I do git branch now, it will show master and styling. It will list all the local branches. But the master is still green one with the asterisks because we haven't switched onto the new branch. We've just created it with git branch styling. So we need to say git checkout, and I when I was learning git, I remembered it as like let's check out another branch. So git checkout styling switched to branch styling. Okay, so git branch will now show us that we are on a different branch, not the master one. Also, if you are working in a in a new team or in a big corporation, or if you want to help someone else on a GitHub or GitLab with his code usually the setup is that the master branch is locked by the author and you can just make uh, new branches out of it but you can modify it but we are here on a local system on your local computer so that's why we don't have any restrictions like that so we are on a styling branch now if we ls it's the same content of the folder all right so let's say I want to make a style the CSS and here I want to say I don't know potty background red uh, height 100% viewport height and I know uh, opacity I don't know 0.5 right should be enough save it if we do ls with the file sizes it tells us that the index file is here and the style is here. Index still has the same amount of uh, kilobytes and the style also has uh, 66. Yeah, and for the demonstrative purposes, let's also edit something in the index file. So let's say I want to add the, uh, I know I want to, I want to call the CSS file here. Oh man, I forgot how to type on my own keyboard. If I pressed, uh, what? Oh, oh, I switched the case, I switched the keywords. Um, yeah, it's style sheet, I know what I'm trying to come up with. Um, I know it's type uh, text to CSS, and the file was called style.css. We could probably make a body that there will be something in, so, so the styles can actually take effect. Now, I'm well aware that I haven't set up the header and whatnot, but it doesn't really matter. So if we ls it again, uh, we also change the index file here, right? So, so good status will say now we are, we are on a branch styling, remember, because we switched it with git checkout. And Git, Git recognizes that the folder content has changed, specifically uh, changes not staged for commit this. Okay, so from our previous commit into the master branch, Git knows that we've created earlier today the index.html. And now, because it tracks the file, it knows that we modified it. That's why it's red and it says modified. And also get find, found out that there are some untracked files, which means that there are some files Git didn't knew about before, and it uh, it reads them out as new ones. Now we can again uh, say uh, git add and dot to add modified changes into the current existing files recognized by Git and new files. Right? So Git's Git status. And it's all green. There are modified content and new content. Now, if we say get comment, m and message basic styling, we've now committed these changes onto the styling branch. Git branch, see, we are still on a styling branch. Right? So, and this is very important moment now. If we do ls here, 
we are still on the styling branch and if I open the index file it has all the new stuff from styling plus the previous ones this line from uh, master one and these lines from the styling and if I open the style CSS it also has the new content and I can now say get checkout and master to go back to the master branch and see what happens we switched branches to master now if I use git branch just to show you we don't have to use it I'm just showing you uh, the list of currently checkout branches we are back on a master one and if I do ls now there's just the old index file that was here before the moment we cre we uh, created a new branch and it's still here nothing changed in the master branch and if you open the index HTML it's like it was before now where are the files if I do ls it's index nothing else now the files are actually in the git folder and the way git works is it does not save all the folders all the folder contents like a snapshots or well yeah what I want to say is that it doesn't copy all the folders uh, what git does is that it just makes a file of differences so if we we can for the sake of uh, demo we can probably do git but you should never look into that git folder because it works on its own and it's pr the best to keep it as it is if you are, don't really know what you're doing but i just wanted to show you that here are plenty of stuff that takes care of the differences and here in logs and in actually in objects are stored the changes between the index and this version and the index the new version plus the new file all right so we are here we are on the branch master we have the index file and if we go check out into the branch styling we get both the files so I'm now happy with the differences obviously if you would be the team leader or if you would have a team leader that would check the code uh, before joining it back to the master one where the project is contained in um, he would he would carefully go through your request of merging the branches and would go line by line to see if there is if it if it fits the standards of the team All right so let's him back on master and I'm now going to say git merge and now what I write here will be the name of a the other folder I want to merge into the current one and because I'm on a master branch I'm going to say git merge styling for styling to get back into the master with the changes right Press enter <coughs> and what happens is here are the hashes it doesn't really matter this is the method it doesn't really matter as well and what happens here is that Two file change nine assertions. Here we see that index got bigger. There were some additions. Uh, there were some additions here, and the styles got bigger as well. It actually uh, didn't exist before, so it's now here as a new file. So this is just a log of what we've done, what were what happened with the merge. You know what code came in and what code was deleted with the merge, the changes, and we are now on a master branch but with the, both of the files from the styling and the changes that were done here okay so this was the very basic concept of how it works and the next time we're going to use um, the server and work on remote branches and I'll explain you how cloning works how uh, how conflicts are you know because you have you can have a conflicts of code how they can be resolved and uh, much more. So see you next time.